Wolf packs are one of the deadliest groups on the planet. Each individual is already a dangerous predator in their own right, but when combined, their coordination is near unstoppable. How is it that these extraordinary beasts recognized humans as the leaders of the pack? This is Ancestoria, the story of our greatest companion. Dogs are the descendants of a now extinct ancient wolf. Humans and wolves have lived alongside each other for many thousands of years. Our ancestors held them in high esteem, respecting them without fear or hostility due to our shared position as apex predators. Wolves operate in packs with a very strict hierarchy, and it is common for wolves to leave the pack either by exile or its own volition. These wolves are inclined to search for new companions because most do not survive long by themselves. They may have come into contact with humans drawn by the smell of cooked meat and observed them until given food as wolves aren't usually aggressive in invading human territory. After this, it might have come more regularly and created a bond with this certain group. It is uncertain where and when these wolves evolved into dogs, but Western Europe Central and East Asia are the most likely candidates, taking place somewhere between 40,000 and 27,000 years ago. Most dog breeds today are only a few hundred years old at best, and no ancient breed survives, but they probably would have appeared very wolf-like. Human encampments with wolves, and later dogs, now gain someone who had better smell, tracking, hearing, sight, especially at night and we're the first defense against enemies promoting our survival. Wolf packs have a need for constant display of dominance with the lowest tier, Omegas, being constantly harassed and even brutally attacked for missteps. Omegas also got the lowest amount and quality of food from a kill. With humans, those wolves were able to receive meat in abundant supply since humans were more efficient hunters, especially with wolves at their side. Our ancestors quickly became attached to their new friends and would care for them even after serious injuries. They also honored them with burials very similar to human burials, with some being buried with artifacts and even alongside humans. Dogs have evolved several unique traits such as hypersociality and picking up on subtle cues from humans and their hand gestures where other animals cannot without extensive training. Dogs can even live in high altitude villages, aiding our ability to conquer these places. Both species experience an increase in oxytocin levels, which means that dogs and humans feel happier and less stressed when together. They are the animals who showed us that we did not have to walk alone, and in fact, they may have been the reason we domesticated other animals, and if we did not have animal power and animal products, then it's hard to imagine how we could have ever gotten this far. This was more than just a domestication, this was our first true bond with another creature, a partnership, and though some have wavered, our pact has never been broken. They remain loyal, affectionate, and fiercely protective of us. Wolves are at risk of extinction in many places, but dogs thrive and will journey with us beyond our world. A friendship that has stood the test of time, they were our first and greatest companions. This is Ancestoria, the history of our ancestors.